Lucky miss! Just take it. It's thrift store anyway. I miss you already. What the F word are you doing here? That's a funny way to greet your cousin. You ain't my G damn cousin, Trevor. I thought we was family. But please just go and ruin somebody else's home furnishings. Who the F is that? Floyd? No one, my sweet. Hey, by any chance did you catch crabs at that conference? I heard that those conferences are regular little fuck fest, huh? Guy, come in. Huh? I'd like you to leave mm. right now. Oh yeah, some serious corporate gang banging going on, right? Yeah, with every executive and director of communications from here to Bangalore taking it left, right, and center in the name of team training, right? I mean, now that's what Floyd told me yesterday as he was staring at my uh, my penis. I want you to leave. Look, this is all I've got, all right? I had a tough upbringing. My daddy was not nice to me, okay? Now look, Deborah, I love you and I love you too, Floyd. Why can't we all just be together, huh? You can have Mondays through Thursdays. You can have the weekends, all right? I know that's not normal, but in this crazy, crazy world, is normal so good, huh? Look, Deborah, Floyd, will you marry me? Get out of my condo! And you go too, Floyd! I told you! I've got a career! I don't need this! 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 Crap! Yes! There. <laughs> you made me swear! You're crap, Floyd! Crap! <laughs> You're not a man at all. <laughs> Bob's right about you. Oh, who's Bob? I want both of you to go now, you and your weird friend. Whoa! Hey! My name is Trevor, sweetheart. I could give a fuck what your fucking name is! I'm not afraid to use this. I'm not. Bob taught me. Fuck Bob! You people are not very fucking nice! Oh, hey there, Trevor. <laughs> oh. mm, hey there, Wade. Did you meet Deborah? Ooh, interesting lady. I should probably go say hi. I wouldn't. Why not? Let's go get in the car, all right? Let's go have the time of our lives. I know just the place. I could run in and get Floyd and Deborah. I know she seems kinda of uptight, but she can have fun. Mmm, no. I don't think she can, Wade. Just Floyd then? Floyd's gonna meet us there. Floyd's trip! Exactly! Oh, Trevor, maybe you got all over yourself. You're all red. You got you got syrup? Yeah! Syrup! Accident! We've all been there. We sure have, but... But it don't taste like syrup. Don't taste me, all right? Just no licking. Okay. Hey, you remember when we met? Sure! Last year. I was on the way to the gathering with Daisy Bell and Kush Tronic and... And you stopped in Sandy Shores to get lit, and you met a dealer, and he looked after you when your friends had abandoned you. That was weird, weren't it? 
The last time I saw him, it was with you driving out to the quarry, and then they just disappeared. Poof, right? I mean, they were gone. Some friends, right? And now Cousin Deborah don't want you around? I mean, there's a pattern here. So, this is where Floyd is gonna meet us, a strip club? Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's unlike him. He's a real homebody. He loves that apartment. Interestingly, you and me, we got a new home. Where? <laughs> here. Mm, right here. Here? Mm, here. Now, I know it's unconventional, but that's the way we roll, homie. Hey, you two. You two, I want you to give this boy a good time <laughs> for a long time. <laughs> hey, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Tell me where the manager is for this fine establishment. Through there, and take two doors to the right. Mm -hmm. Through there. To the right. Thank you. Amigo! Prepare to meet your new partner. Hey, Lester. Hey, uh, Trevor just called about the, um, the big one, the, the UD. You know anything? Yeah, I told him we could hit it. You down? Of course I'm down. Look, I'll get my research together and meet you at Trevor's. He's taking over the Vanilla Unicorn Gentlemen's Club. All right, message Franklin. still fixing computers for a living. When you gonna throw some work my way? Hey, if you're right for a project, I'll be in touch, okay? Okay, but don't forget about me. You see this shit? <laughs> I'ma ride that ass to the cows, come on. You want a private dance or what? Oh, yeah. Your attitude is crap anyway. Watch it, asshole. Hey, before you ask, the fridge is broken. That's all right. I've had enough of your hospitality already. 
I have changed my ways, all right? Yeah? Yeah, I'm done with that crazy shit, all right? I want to square things away with Meriwether, make sure the agency ain't coming back after us, and then do one last big score, and then you get to go back with your family. Me, I'm just gonna live here. I'm gonna run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? I've had it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. Yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. I, uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh... Anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. The big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But... But! It'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Security, exit routes, general vibe. All right. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground that's hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we got to stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group. From the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime. But not now. Look, dawg. Light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserves? Yeah, huh? Maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I can help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. I need to talk to Michael about it. Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate.
You're the one who keeps talking about the schedule, Lest. Come on. 1330. One hour down, two to go. Don't worry, it's a straight road. They'll come out the other side. 
taking your name off the side? You think I'm taking down the Union Depository and anything other than a chopper with my name on it? Well, then you don't know me, bro. I thought you'd say that. Breakout too. Bradley Snyder. He's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Bye. <laughs> 